welcome to the Neon Cast. I'm Jim. And I'm Sam. And today we the pinnacle. We've really there's no bugs around your gym. No, nothing left. <laughs> You're ruining it. <laughs> You're looking around like, like I keep hearing it. Okay. <laughs> Today we reached the pinnacle. We've we've kind of reached the logical conclusion of the Neon Cast. <laughs> the whole reason we got the idea for this. If you listen to the first episode, we actually mention the yeah. cat girls. Finally, come. We took a little bit of, of January off. A lot of January off, but no, come January. to this. Today we're talking about the Nekopara OVA. God help us all. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we could talk about like the brief. Uh, the OVA with so I think with always a visual novel. There's one, two, volume three, and volume zero. Yeah, so uh, wildly successful. Yeah, they're on wildly Steam. Wildly successful. More so because just like a stereotypical visual novel, but they also had like the adult mod he could have gotten that had all the creepy like you banging all of them. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. So, so yeah, basically the premise of this world, which I'm gonna get into excruciating detail, is that there are cat girls that live in our world. But they are like sort of a Pet. sub. They're Pet. like subhuman. They're treated like subhuman. They're basically like an actual pet cat, but they're actual human kind of kind of human intelligence. Kind of, like, yeah, like a thing. low human intelligence. Like they behave like humans, kind and, of. Yeah, but they also behave like cats. Like it's it's weird. Yeah, but they and they have like semi rights. It's really what? fucked up in a way. Like, yeah. So this, so this kind of Kickstarter. Uh, they reached for an OVA. When was it? Uh, do you, does it say the date? Um, how do you date? It's out of 9,122 backers, though. Wow. Uh, it didn't tell me the start date when it, but it was, like, I think it was during the summer, I want to say, because... Actually, I think it might have been early, because we started been recording early. in March. Yeah. That's I mean, when we started. Yeah, it was probably early, early spring, late winter. Um, okay. Of, uh, what's it called, 2017. Okay. So, yeah, because... do you want to say how much... Yeah, uh, I'm trying to think. OVA, the OVA was announced to be at one year, like, basically over a year ago. So, okay. Right a year ago, so. so honestly, that's a pretty good turnaround. Like, because it, it was released, what, you said December 20. The day after Christmas. Okay, yeah. And it got yeah, theatrical release in Japan on, on, this, on, on January 1st. Yeah. Oh, so it had a goal of $100,000. Uh, I'm not sure if you looked at it recently, but can you remember how much it made? Is it like $2 million? I meant just the OVA from backing? No, not $2 million. It's, it's less than that? Yeah. How much is it? Nine hundred sixty-three thousand three hundred seventy-six dollars oh. out of nine thousand one hundred twenty-two people. I thought okay, I thought it was more than a million, but I mean, like, good for them. So, because the the yeah, that's, a, that's ridiculous. That's a lot. They made ten times, like, almost ten times the amount of mm-hmm. what they asked for. So I guess like, I, so I guess like, you get brief like visual novel. It's like, it's like a little description they have in a Kickstarter. Nick Apart is a visual novel series about living together with a humanoid cat, designed and created by Sayori, an illustrator living in Japan. Originally, Sayori created the visual novels with the simple dream of seeing the doujin she, she had written come to life. Oh, okay. So, but so many people read and loved Nekopara, cute character, story, and charm. As a result, Nekopara had achieved popularity with fans worldwide. So, that's basically the, the, the basic... Oh, what, what is Nekopara? Why it's a cat paradise. <laughs> <laughs> the translation, I'm guessing. <laughs> Kashu Mina Duke. Dookie, cashew. Everyone needs for food in this fucking Because it's so cute. The son of a long line of Japanese confection makers moved out to open his own shop, La Solil. La Solier. La Solier. I do not know French. I took Spanish. <laughs> I don't, a, whatever. Pastisseri. But upon moving out, hidden among the things were two of the, two of the cat girls, Chocola and Vanilla. So one of them named Chocola. Like, the, I yes. guess kind of had the chocolate, but everyone named Vanilla straight up, I guess. That the family had been raising. When he tried to send them back, they begged and pleaded until he gave in, and now they open La Solier together with two cat girls who really, really love their master, trying their very best and occasionally failing. A heartfelt comedy opens. Occasionally, you mean everything they do, they <laughs> fail much. at. All right, let's um. So the OVA is based off the first, uh, the first game, visual novel, volume nine, one. without the hentai. <laughs> Thankfully, not to say there isn't like very lewd things happening. It's just showing kind of of like generic look of everyone except for like the cat girl. All right, uh, let's get into just like impressions. Like, well, I'm, I well, want. Do you want me to read the the backers, like the high backers, and what they did? Uh, yeah, sure. Make it quick. <laughs> I'm yeah. So I guess I'll start. It. I was trying to think. I know Go to like the top tier because there's yeah, there's ten thousand dollars, nine thousand dollars, okay, seven. I'll I'll read. 
So basically, which I'm gonna be a ten thousand dollar donation, and everything back and like at the last thing and backwards will be like what the yeah yeah yeah. yeah. So yeah, people will get the OVA. They get like wallpaper for I guess for further background. Digital the digital OVA on Steam. Yeah, the your art, standard book, rewards. Yeah, yeah. OVA o, the, the actual soundtrack. Um, wait, OVA limited edition, which comes with like a Blu-ray, a box, stickers, oh film strip. <laughs> the name on the website and the art book, uh, a T-shirt, which God forbid if you actually it just says I heart Nicopara on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Uh, badges of all the girl cat girls, the main cat girls, plush set of chocolate and vanilla, which looks look at the quality of those plushies. <laughs> They're pretty basic. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll try and include a picture in that thing. But if I'm lazy, you can just, it's on the Kickstarter page of like everything in the in, that's like, a lot together. of effort. Can, it's probably at all. I think it's all in one picture. I think you may be able to just like save it. But uh, a wall scroll, of course. Name in the credits. Damn, they really went all out with the rewards. Framed character, frame color Nico Bar character illustration, <laughs> custom illustrate Neko illustration. A background Neko character appearance with voiceover. Okay, this is the big one. Oh, that's only limited to one. Yes. Yeah, the vo- and your name in the credits also. But was there another one for, like, a non-voice? I'm, I'm gonna go to the 9001. It's, it's a, yeah, background Neko character appearance. So, okay. So that one at the end was the $10,000. The dollar and ev- And limit of 10 for the $9,000, which is a background character, which we saw... Oh, wow. We, we Usually it tells you how many... Actually, if I go down further, it might tell me how many actually... It should... On the, had, on the so, website, it might be better. So they had a, a million, if they made a million dollars, they would have had an anime version of the mini visual novel game when they were children. But it didn't, luckily it didn't, it was a couple, uh, it was like four, less than 40000 short of that. That's really upset. I, w- I wish I didn't know and I would have donated. $5,000 would have got you a cosplay costume. Okay. <laughs> oh my uh, god. And 65 we got you a cat costume. These god are damn. add-ons, but like... Oh my god, I'm trying to see how many people actually did that, but I think it tells you on, like, the actual... Like, yeah, you might need to be on the browser. Yeah, but... All right. We saw... I think we saw at least five... I mean, four or five of, like, the actual, like, didn't say anything background. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, clearly, like, these are their, their OCs yeah. and master OCs. It's hard to tell because sometimes, like, there was one where it was, like, they didn't even show the girl's face. Like, she just walked by really quick. No, I think that was the one they showed earlier, the one they walked by. The one Maybe. they were looking at before. But, yeah, okay, so yeah, there was the one licking ice cream, yeah. there was the little girl one, there was, one the, there was the top hat one. The top hat, there were like two top hat, one, one that talk, also had a hat, I think. Uh, this is like the hilarious problem for me when you have these OC character inserts. They always have really intricate designs that aren't designed by a person who's good at designing characters. So, they like the one girl had like a jauntily tipped hat. On the side of her head. Like, it it's, like, it's just like if any American or, or, like, or someone making like an OC, they always have to have a hat on there for some reason. Yeah. Because, you know, hats are, tiny hats are cute. Like, if you've ever um, heard of the game Skullgirls, which I highly recommend, there's <laughs> one level in particular where they in, they had, like, Kickstarter reward background characters. And you can immediately tell, like, oh, wow, that's a furry OC someone just put in this game. Yeah. Oh, look, it's the two best friends. It's Wooly <laughs> and Matt. Um, but, yeah. So let's just talk about... Let's get into... Yeah. So, our impressions. So, oh yeah. Also, so wait, sorry. You, I wanted to say yeah, you, neither of us donated. No, we are n- neither of us are donators to this. <laughs> I wouldn't want to support. I have better things to spend money on, like one yeah. piece figures. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. All right. So if you had to uh, quickly summarize the the plot, like I did a little bit, like or, like the basic yeah. of Nico Park, but you summarize the plot of this of this one episode. How would you quickly sum it up? All right, I'm gonna be very quick about this because not much fucking happened. <laughs> it doesn't. So basically, yeah, we have our main character, Ka- talk- Cashew Kun. Yeah, before we talk about the problems of the world. Oh yeah, no, we're gonna get into this. So we have, we have Cashew, who's our main boy. Our bland protagonist. The most bland. If you need the names of the other ones, I have them right here. So if you need the, the names. Oh, I have them all memorized. No, you babe. don't. <laughs> the other jobber cat girl. Um. All right. So. No, I'm not gonna list them. What am I doing? I'm okay. Gonna, so I'm yeah. So Cashew is moving to a new city. He's or, starting yeah. a new pastry place, La Solier. A- yeah, but it's also a cafe. Bakery cafe? It's a cafe as well. A pastry cafe. Yeah. So he hears cat girl voices, very stupid cat girl voices, and like, ugh, well, I'm hear, I, I heard in this box. You heard patter patter. Yeah. So yeah. basically, his two two of the cat girls that he his family owns that he lives with <laughs> smuggled themselves on this truck. And... Which, if they got caught, they would have been arrested. <gasps> yes, they would have. Oh my god, that's a great point. <laughs> 
They would have been arrested, probably. Uh, or maybe the movers for, like, would have been, like, for, like raped smuggling. Them. Maybe they thought it was, like, a smuggling <gasps> ring for Yes! Sure. Oh, my God! We Okay. <laughs> we'll talk more about that. Yeah. The, the <laughs> idea of, like, a cat smuggling sex trade is a very real thing in this world. <laughs> but, so, we have... We have, um... These two girls... The two main ones. Yeah, so they, they come with him, and he's at first he's like, Oh, no, you can't live with me. <laughs> I'm calling my sister. We're shipping you back home. Yeah. And apparently they have, like, five other cat girls besides chocolate chocolate and vanilla are the two four. main characters okay they're or not including the little sister okay well she's a cat girl too he, bas- but... he pretends to be uh it's basically blackface <laughs> oh we'll get there we'll get there <laughs> I know. so okay this is really getting bogged down so basically his two cat girls they nag him, him with him they, yeah they nag him until he eventually keeps them there which yeah i guess i'm fine so then it kind of, like, jumps around a bit. There isn't one, like, main plot. So the two main ones are Chocolate and Vanilla. Yeah. The yeah, one, yeah, the yeah. Vanilla is white-haired with blue eyes. Chocolate is brown hair. The shy, like... like brown eyes? The, the, well, vanilla is, like, the shy, like, qu- like kind of... Ray. Quality. Vanilla is the Ray, tr- the Ray from Evangelion trope. Chocolate sees in third person is annoying as fuck. I don't know anyone actually likes this. Yeah, Chocolate character. is very annoying. She's also, like, more handsy with uh, the Master. <laughs> yeah. They both love Master unconditionally. That's, yeah. Well, they call him Master, which is really creepy. They call Cashew. <laughs> People love that uh, that domination. Better so, than. I'm trying to think next. So, next what happens is they the sister comes. So The little sister comes with... After, after being nagged and dragged into public where they have a funny thing of asking the period, you know, that seems funny oh. them not knowing. Oh their... my god, okay. Well, well, let's kind of, we'll put the little pin in the period joke, and we'll get back to that later. Yeah, well, we're, we're talking about the world. Like, yeah. Um, so okay, like, so... Sugar Ray. Sugar. Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray. His little Sugar, sister Sugar comes. Sugar Ray or... Uh, and, Sugar. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sugar, Sugar Ray comes with uh, the other four cat girls that they own. Azuki and... as, as, as the Sugar Ray. Uh, Maple, who's like the blonde, tall, like... Blonde, tall one. Maple. Like Maine Coon. She's named Maple. Uh, Maple is the tall blonde one. Cinnamon, who's the big titted purple haired one. And Coconut, the gal. The slutty looking gal. Oh, Coconut is the Maine Coon. And there is a Sundere who also, like, is older. You know, she's shorter. She's, like, older than Coconut. We'll, uh, we'll just get into that later. I'm yeah. just trying to do a, so that, a that, brief, that, brief that basic, basic I guess a, basically a brief uh, summarization of what, they, what their characters are. So basically, their whole purpose of coming is, like, they can't. So. Vanilla and Chocolate are like, oh, we'll live with Master and we'll be the the waitresses at at the cafe. Mm -hmm. So then the rest of the cat girls come and they're like, no, you can't do that. You need to have a special permit in order to work as a cat girl, which implies that the cat girls are like some sort of like sub human. Like they don't have human rights. Imagine if you need it like a permit to get your dog a collar so you can take it out, take it out for a walk around like the park or city. Yeah, kind of. It's it's weird. They can go on their own, I guess, because they have a collar and a bell. Um. Yeah, they can. Yeah. They, they, they explain that. So yeah, basically, a cat girl has to pass a certain test, mm-hmm. and when they pass that test, they're able to get a bell, which is their permit. And if they have the permit, then they they're allowed to do like, kind of like human things, like the basic human <laughs> thing. But if you are a cat girl and you don't have a bell and you're alone, you literally will get taken by the police. And I guess. I don't know. They'll and, deal with you. Yeah. So they found out about, about the goal of the OVA. So hundred thousand dollars was gonna pay for a twenty minute OVA. Uh, but every hundred thousand dollars afterward would extend the OVA by ten minutes to a maximum of half a million for in sixty minutes. So that's why the pacing was so disjointed. Yeah. Because it was just like let's keep he adding didn't ten more minutes. Didn't expect to like get a like, <laughs> sixty minute OVA. But yeah. Was... So yeah, this gets back into like how weirdly disjointed the plot was. Like so yeah, at first it's just them living with him, and then it's oh. We're not allowed to work for you. And then they introduce this whole plot where they're like, they're they're learning to, to pass the test so they can get their permit so they can work there. Then they suddenly, literally out of nowhere, they just go away for a day and they come back and they have their permits. They have their bells. Yeah, we didn't see that. So then we have a lengthy scene where they're celebrating their at a amusement park in a, in a aquarium. The two girls get to celebrate their permits. And then at the end, the final little, it's like kind of a series of vignettes, really. <laughs> So the final vignette is Master gets sick because he got a fever getting splashed by a yeah, dolphin. He got splashed by a dolphin and he got he got a fever, and He's the, a god of death. the the cat girls are trying to treat him, but because they're fucking like subhuman intelligence, they, auti- well one of them's autistic. One of, okay, Chocola is actually autistic, but um, because they don't know what to do, they they run outside to go to a doctor, even though it's midnight and the doctor's clinic would be closed. But then oh oh, they forgot their bells, and then cops stop them, and then they're like, hey. Cat girl strays are a big thing. We're gonna have to take you in, and, and then they're, they're like two cute 
female cop. That yeah, of course. Uh, and so then they start to they start to flee the police. The actual cat costume. For oh, like, when you said cat costume, you actually meant not, a costume well, for a cat. No, they also had the, re- the actual cat costume. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> Adorable, though. For $5,000, you could have got the actual Negopara <laughs> made outfit, but for $6,000, you got your cat an actual cute little costume. Um, okay, sorry, but... Uh, <laughs> so then basically how it resolves is... Their owner sees that they went, they left the house, so he goes to the clinic, even though he's deathly ill, and then he's able to save them from being taken in by the police, and that's how it ends. <laughs> yeah, get, getting the like, call animal patrol and get like the mm-hmm. like. All right. There's also the funny period was from December of 2016, 28th of 2016 to February 11th of 2017, 44 days, and it raised wow. one hundred thousand dollars. I mean, that's pretty. good. I mean, good for them. Like. Okay, I have a lot of problems with this. I'm going to be honest. Go I have ahead. a lot of problems with, <laughs> with this. But I have to say, it looked competent. There were a few shots. There were a few shots that were, like, really jarring. Uh, there was a part where they used a fisheye lens that looked really gross. It was, like, on the, on the uh, music park ride. The cake? Do you want to talk about the cake? <laughs> you mean you mean when, when Kona put the, the giant slice of cake to her mouth and it just vanishes? Yeah. That with her opening her mouth? <laughs> she ate the entire slice in one bite. Uh, they didn't open her mouth. It just vanished yeah. into her mouth. Uh, I think that's I, I don't know it, but it looked it looked like what you'd see like it looked like a shitty anime I, like a shitty the weird CG anime. car at one point yeah the the van that was at like ten feet tall that was really weird <laughs> and like half the frame rate <laughs> and yeah but so yeah that's the basic gist of okay. the sixty minute that we watched so I, I wrote a few notes down so should we talk about what the fucked up world this, yeah. this guy like pretty much makes because. So on a surface, like, this is my big problem with Nekopara, is, like, you can't even appreciate it on a surface level because it goes deep into, like, the weird shit that would happen in a a world like this. comment I saw on Reddit about it was, like, for a cute world he made, he made a really fucked up world in actuality. So, (laughs) yeah, like, you you could make very subtle changes to Nekopara and it would be less, like, horrifying and institutionalized. Like, there is institutionalized, like slavery in Dur- this world during this this thing me and Jim were talking about this but this made the world that they were like in like all this shit a potential anime that we can just pitch to netflix for like an actual world where it starts out like nekopara but then cuts away to the actual like gritty like reality <laughs> of this world yeah like we follow like a naked stray cat girl that runs around like, the city and kills cat, other cat girls a cat fight ring or it's a, <laughs> or some dude that like, even, like the law enforcement like, a weird like cat girl murder and it's like figure out like, oh that'd be awesome him. if there was like a creepy cat girl murderer yeah <laughs> like we're we're, we're, we're like pitching this man yeah but, uh, yeah we're talking about like, all those weird things like so first off like wait okay i, I want to say so early on there's a scene where in the very beginning he takes him to a drugstore mm-hmm. and the and chocola sees a sign about period pains <laughs> and she's like what's a period and it's really it's a funny scene haha we're all laughing this brings up the point so okay i guess that they are spaying and neutering the cat girls Mm -hmm. because otherwise she would know she's she's at an age where she would as as a cat a cat would experience the this kind of like blah 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 i don't want to get into it it sounds really gross i hate talking about it but so the heat these cat girls are probably spayed like they have their tubes tied like Mm -hmm. which is weird it is a weird concept and i it grosses me out so if a cat girl gets hurt do they take them to vets or do they take them to the hospital that's true. That that's another thing. Like, like because you would if you were say you're in medical school and you live in Nekopara, you would have to learn cat girl, but physiology but, is different. I guess so. So you'd have to learn like I mean, okay, they're affected by catnip. Yes. Yeah. So on like a well, surface a lot level, of catnip it takes because <laughs> they have their ears too. I assume we didn't ever see, but I assume they don't have human ears. Also, are there are there cat girls hidden in society where they wear a hat over oh, like a big like a big yeah. hat over there and hide their tails so that you try to blend it? Like they can pass. Them? Like they pass as like a human. Yeah. Like the underground, like the, in the underground, re- dude. I want to write this anime. Because like Netflix, please. In reality, a cat lives to normally. Like but, okay, a, a, a long if a cat is an indoor cat, it lives to about right. eighteen years of age. I want I want to talk about this. So in this world, because in the beginning it shows them like the main character and it's also the same age, like, like maybe a year. Oh or two yeah, what's the sister? Yeah, but they're like little like 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 little girls. Like they're like three years old. Like they remind me of Kana like 
size, mm. and probably even smaller than that. Yeah, they were to- like toddlers. Yeah, and they're in a he box. He finds them as toddlers. Yeah, they find them in a box in the rain, like, left, left to, like, die, basically. Like, kind of <laughs> fucked up because they have, like, human intelligence. They're basically like, kind of, like, human beings. Yeah. And, like... It wasn't like they were left, like, at a doorstep. They were left at the side of the road, like... Side of the road, like, or side of a shrine, like, you know, something like that. Kind yeah. Of, that kind of shit. But, like, it's kind of fucked up, like... <laughs> you know, it is. Like... It, that, I think that's like the it, it highlights the biggest problem for me it's like you have this world because you want you want cat girls in your anime you want to make an anime visual novel whatever that's cat girls but you're making them lesser to humans and it creates this like humanity has a really long right. history of like slavery and enslaving yeah. Yeah, lesser I mean, people we find it quote more, unquote I think we find it more fucked up than maybe than in Japan because we have a whole like dark history with slavery <laughs> America has yeah I'd say uh, America has more of history of slavery, slavery than nowadays than... like but okay so also like they didn't they look the same like the sister like Sugar Ray and, and Cashew look the same like they had it's like time like, like it went by maybe a year or two but they aged mm. like they're like 14 or six or like between 14 and like yeah. 16 look like and like, i'm guessing they age like cats but like what's three years in cat years then? well like so cat cats generally live to be like 18 i'm gonna see what google says like what cat uh, cat years equal to human years it's probably about like a fourth because what the average human age what like 67 cat years the people here what's it uh, say uh that cat age seven years in human years for each calendar year in fact the aging is much more rapid during the first two years of life a cat reaches approximately the human age of 15 during his first year then 24 at age two. Oh god so if we take it so they probably like one years old oh it's even creepier oh, at oh that's they're, gross they're at least 15 by its first year yeah so if oh. we go by the, if we go by that measure then it's pretty safe to say that they are fucking newborn like they're a year old maybe a year and a half old Ugh. there's a huge like fucking like infograph like of like it goes by see like a year oh wow that's really interesting like yeah i mean like i think that's pretty common with a lot of animals like they they so age they're, greatly they're in the between first years. 10 months and one year which is 13 to 15 years old i'm gonna guess or maybe just over a month to be a 16 be yeah a month. but yeah so they, that's really like messed up because they age but these like they range in intelligence where they still have some weird like childish mentality yes. to it but like or some or some but <sighs> there's okay there's another thing i wanted to bring up so there's a part when they first move in with him and they're like hey master it's been a long time since you've bathed with us and so that brings i'm guessing the visual novel that's when he fucked one of them <laughs> all right so, so in the visual novel, so you can get them all in steam but on the visual novel you can also like mods like actually unlock the the adult version that's probably was in japan yeah because steam has steam has restrictions yeah. about like explicit sexual content so you yeah, have you to should... download off the website yeah generally yeah and yeah so I'm, and and going by what i read a little bit of it or watching the let's i watched like a, i watched one let's play i'm really knuckle park because i watched like uh because you love it you just really want to see what the world's like, like. like the two guys did like a let's play of it on tfs gaming and they that's basically how my knowledge of but they had the scenes where you, they like fucked them and like they had to blur it out but like yeah it's kind of weird he fucking like one technically fucking a one year old he <sighs> fucked and like the moment oh, each volume gross. the moment each volume he fucks each and every one of them it's so like I, I okay I'm the kind of guy that's seen a lot of anime I put up with a lot of bullshit <laughs> this is where I draw the line like <laughs> this is disgusting this is where you draw <laughs> and I hate it um it's fucked so what else, what else can we talk about this fucked up oh world. okay wait no so i want to bring up the bathe thing so it's like right. so she's like you haven't bathed bathed with us since we matured so it's pretty safe to say that they are of a like quote-unquote at, sexual at age which point, makes everything worse yeah at one point they really boomed like i was saying like how the one by one year they're 15 so at least, yeah like, between that gap like up to that certain point also they, why he was an adult like he was at least a, a like a late teenager why was he bathing with these cat girls that's <sighs> gross Maybe like when I don't know, man. It's really I don't weird. like that. He, I would see him bathing them because they were babies, but like, also that's creepy. It's just all creepy. To I me. remember watching the Let's Play. Though. There's one point where like he's like yelling in public, and like what? But the people, the people, are like what's he doing to the to his to his cat? Like it was like oh, it's kind of weird. Uh, one thing I wrote down in my notes, which are pretty much just one word sentences of frustration. <laughs> I wrote sexualized infant infantilization. Which is, like, I feel like as a core to this, where it's, like, yeah. it's, not only are they presented as childish, they, like, behave like kids, and they was, behave like children, like, they have was, mentalities like children. We were, I read that, like, description from the, the, kick, the Kickstarter, like, that the girl who 
did, who either wrote this or or drew the cat girl or the girl. Like I, I feel like that'd be something that fed, really. I think it was like it said she on on huh. the description thing. So. It definitely falls into like a lot of different fetishy things. Like there's like oh, yeah. there's like a whole gothic well, Lolita well, thing I going told, on I, with their, I, their costumes. I was saying about the, each of the each of the girls are all like a different like oh yeah a different they, trope. It's, a, it's a chocolate with an autistic annoying one. <laughs> My um, favorite trope. Vanilla was the quiet shy one. Coconut was the gal. Yeah. Uh, there's a tsundere. Tsundere was the az- azuru, whatever her name is. Hey, um, there's even the maple, sister Lolly if you want to double sister, down on yeah, a sis- younger sister. Sister Lolly, they had the like the big titty like airheaded one that or nymphomaniac one because she was fucking like getting like turned on at one point yeah oh yeah i forgot about her and then yeah and then there was the actual like normal like the normal one i guess and the blonde haired one i just i like i hate i hate to yuck other people's yums as they say <laughs> that is saying yeah it's a gross saying that i hate um <laughs> I, I hate to i hate to like shame people because that's not i don't want to shame anyone but Come on, guys. We this is a, awful. We, see, we watch a lot of cat girls, a lot of shit. I've we're, seen we're, a we're lot. We're the foremost experts on cat. We pretty cat much are. I, uh, show me another another podcast that's covered as many cat girl anime as we have. <laughs> yep, it's a girl. The uh, the, the the creator, the, the author, the, the, the creator cre- created the visual novels. Okay, this is like really weird. Seeing that she has written. <laughs> so I mean, like, not saying that our lady friends out there can't be pervs as well, but. Hey, Air Manga Sensei. <laughs> Shut the fuck but, up. But, okay. Yeah, but, so, we're. <laughs> what the fuck? I tried to think about the fucked up thing that we Honestly, were those are, like, some of my biggest talking. Well, po- oh, wait, okay. No. Okay, okay, wait, there's one thing I wanted to say. <laughs> we've had, like, a <laughs> So, there's one part where one of the, the, the. As you said before, the one cat girl looks really young, but she's actually older than the other ones. Yeah, the the Sundere that had, like, the flat chest of Sundere. Okay, so this, this brings me to a point where I want to talk about things I actually kind of like about this show. I, there's one scene where he's training her, he's he's training the two cat girls to like not be cats and but they can't help but behave like cats which I thought was funny because oh. like, like the testing the test stuff would just like resist your cat urges with like the yeah. cats and so then, then every... he like plays with them and like well, scratches their neck and they can't help it well, uh, them, that was kind of funny well them and the and the one that she had the bells failed it so like like what's the point of this test if like no one can actually fucking pass it uh. Oh, and so, okay, what I was saying about the one, so, one of the ca- other cats that they own, she looks really young, but she's actually the eldest, or the, whatever, she's older than one of the other ones. So that made me think of my own cat. My own cat, Molly. She looks like a kitten, but she actually is, like, pretty old. Like, she's, like, 15, I think? Uh-huh. Oh my god, they can't be 15. Can we, can we look up the, bring up the, um, the wheel again and see how actually old No, <laughs> no, but it's just, that, that was one of those things, like, the person that made this clearly has cats, or, like, yeah. they clearly like cats, okay. because they nail, like, the thing, like, weird things that cats do, and, yeah. like, that was another thing, like, yeah, my cat, I have a cat that's super young looking, but she's actually, like, pretty old. Hey, but watching this made me, because, like, okay, so there was, like, there was a cat that, that, that lived under my my porch for a while. I, I took care of like I fed I fed her and then eventually yeah brought her inside but then I found her home. Mm-hmm. But like if I we were in this world like there's a freaking creepy like naked teenage, naked girl naked crawling, teenage girl. crawling <laughs> under my porch and like I'm feeding it. It's weird. Yeah, it really takes like it, it just it, it adds a lot of creepiness to what I what are just cute little creatures. I love cats. They're so cute. And they're I love my two cats. My one cat Jesse is a little fat little kitty cat. <laughs> uh but yeah like uh, some of the other things like it's just like they talk about going cats going into heat and like it's it's gross i don't want this is a too the, the world is too realized they put too much thought into it yeah i was, I was talking about like the cats like oh there's, there's the one like the one cat is talking like oh there's so many cat girls making up stories like that like how many cat girls do you have in like yeah in the um the and, pound. Yeah, I'm like, imagine those Sarah, Mc, like those, like, those like Sarah McLachlan commercials, like the arms of the angel, the like <laughs> them in cages, like the like, cute anime cat girl, the cages, like, arms of the angel playing, like looking all sad because they're locked up in a like really small cage. Like, oh my god! And I'm, like, I'm, like they have to call like animal control, like when you go to those like goes like. Do they, do they para- put them down? Do you think they put para- them down? It gets like a little like hook thing on her neck and like drag them into like, <laughs> like oh my, like, I don't know. Like, can you get rabies? <laughs> Probably. Is declawing them, like, just cutting off their, They like, probably just cut their, their fingers off entirely. Kind of stuff. But, like, yeah, it's so many questions out the world. It really is, like, okay. so fucking weird. So the author, Sayori, is a Chinese illustrator living in Japan. Oh, wow, that's interesting. And she owns a circle named Neko Works and designed the characters by herself. That must be her dojo in circle. Because it leads to drafting, artwork, and release of the famed Neko Works. I mean, like, I respect the hustle, but come on, come like... On. 
you could do better. Like as I was saying, like you could do slight changes to this world. Make it so that they're not subhuman. Make make it so that occasionally there are girls that are cat girls, and they just have different struggles. Like oh, I'm, I really like catnip. I really want catnip. Like I mean, don't make them like oh, subhuman. A lot of the shows we watched that had cat girls had like one had like some traits of cats, but they were like either aliens or like mm-hmm. they were they were still like part of like human society and not like fucking like low or intelligence, pets. like autistic. Essentially, <laughs> no. Like the closest one I can compare it to is the first one we ever did, which is Nyanko Days. Which at least in Nyanko Days they remain tiny. Yeah. So you, you the, the illusion of them being an actual cat doesn't being, leave your mind. Then being pets is still like there. Yeah, it's not like you're thinking like this is a matured sexual sexual <laughs> animal that I'm living with that's my size. Yeah, it's just really fucking weird. Yeah, also, I have to say, like, terrible pacing. Because it was, you could tell it was like, they just kept adding vignettes on. Yeah, they had to add, he didn't expect, oh, we gotta, we gotta make a new gimmick, they gotta keep going more and more into the game. Mm-hmm. First game. Yeah. Was, uh, we had, we gonna add all the stuff for the other half of the cat girls that probably would've, we got the series would've introduced then, but, eh. Any anything else you want to talk uh, about? There, I think uh, I'm kind of done talking about this. Are there any other like any other weird things in the world that we can talk about? I think I pretty much covered anything in your notes. Do you want to like end about the cat about the world? No. Like one of them had a thumb. <laughs> oh okay yeah, but that just kind of goes with the weird like sexualization of them. Like yeah, the coconut has like really skimpy like jean shorts on, like the Daisy Dukes I guess. Yeah, with the thong, the gal look of like the thong, yeah. Thing, yeah. But like why? It was also like so in the game so you also gotta hit the button and make everyone jump so you just have a jiggle <sighs> button. There's also a slider, I think, a jiggle slider. I think so too, yeah. Out of control. This is for perverts. <laughs> for perverts who like I mean anime see, is they, like, down, of... they down the hentai edition where you see them topless, see these one year olds topless, you fucking sick bastards. <laughs> one year old. See the one year old. Alright. So uh, I just wanna say, if you really need your weird sexual fetish no, your weird sexual like hook. Also, watch Devilman. Just don't watch this trash. Watch something good also, and sexy. This thing, thir- this thing is thirty dollars. Oh yeah, this this also costs this is thirty dollars. Somehow thirty dollars. I hope, man, if you feel stupid, someone spent thirty dollars on that. Luckily, we did. I spent thirty dollars. What are you talking about? <laughs> Just gifted to fucking people. <laughs> but yeah, so that, it's really bad. It's not, it's, good. it's not good. It's just it's. There's better cat girl stuff. We watched way better. Yeah, do you want to recommend recommend another cat girl shit that we watched? It's better. I I found more humor out of Cat Planet Cuties. Yeah, Cat Planet Cuties is immediate standout. Outlaw Star the better cat girl. Yeah, yeah Outlaw Star. I like Outlaw Star. I didn't like her though. She sucked. <laughs> we can get we can get we can get really into her though. I saw enough. But yeah. Uh. There's plenty. Dragon Maid is not a cat girl show, but just watch that instead. It's better for Dragon Girl restaurant for like demon and dragon girl also just watch like what's it called watch any show watch anything else other than dog days <laughs> <laughs> watch the dog days watch anything else yeah. uh it's ridiculous man can you even see this in theaters with like other like other like neats <laughs> like in japan like just go to that theater in japan that would be awesome actually i would if i could have seen this in the theaters i so would have use your movie Hashtag pass, movie pass. <laughs> no it's like See like, Nekopara, huh? Yeah, <laughs> you still have to go up to the counter. They one for Nekopara, please. <laughs> yeah, you gotta hit up that the uh fuck. the booth, the non. Ugh. What's it called? The fuck it, never mind. Um, oh, man. But like, I'm like seriously, like I would r- want to watch a show about like in this world though, but the darker side of yes. this world. That is like, a twenty times more interesting show that Netflix could hit me up at the, at the neon cast. <laughs> And me and Jam, we'll, we'll, we'll storyboard this out. The notion that every cat owner would be, like, a nice guy like our main character is it, so unrealistic how, in the real world. How many of them have, like, a, their basement is just, like, creepy, like... Sex du- dungeon. Sex dungeon. Or, like, the prostitution. Like, the red light district probably had, like, scoring... There's definitely... It's definitely sucking... sa- Cat girl sex tourism and, is probably a thing. And, like... We saw that there was like the cat, the like, cat stand, like the pictures of actual real cats, yes. like in like, the shop. Like we never see a real cat, but we see pictures there, of real cats. Are there dog people too? Prob- I think it might just be cat girl. I... But like, there's probably a cat girl fighting ring. That's probably like a way more interesting show of like. Yeah, I would love. I, I really, I, I told Sam, I'm gonna write a fanfic about this and how, <laughs> like, a dark side, It'd like be a way crazier, like interesting, like world. It is weird, like. 
maybe like a pound like secretly runs like, a, like, a, like a, cat, a cat girl fighting ring yeah. like that sounds fucking awesome like okay i just thought of a good comparison to this okay so imagine you know the show psychopaths yeah i love it imagine if psychopaths just was a baker the main character was a baker who never questioned the civil system he never discovers anything bad he never finds anyone that's like irregular whatever they call it he just is a baker and that's it like there's he doesn't question the system that's what the show is it's just this weird horrifying world and like, this guy just doesn't question it or how like, or how crazy like, like when they're like richest people is like actually like a cat girl a cat person hiding a cat girl in hiding yeah so, like, that too that would be really like she was like an ascended cat girl like she was smart enough to know she, how to like hide or shit fucking amazing i was trying to different species in this world too and like that, that actually, like, they noticed that was, like oh yeah ears. there's different like uh what do they call it like different cat girl breeds yeah because the ears are different i guess but like i want this fucking show about this uh, this like dark world. it sounds so fucking awesome it sounds it sounds so interesting yeah like I'm gonna eat the send then Netflix this like this. If the show if anyone's listening and this show does exist, please tell me. I'm sure there's some No the Honey Badger show. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, like I'm more interested about the world this author accidentally curated of like this dark fucking world like have this weird underbelly. Like I yeah. want that. Like, like imagine like a third world country, like like, they wouldn't be able to control the cat girl island, mating habits. Or the actual island Japan just yes. covered in cats. Oh my god, that'd be so funny, yeah. yeah like the cat oh, islands. It'd be amazing. All these horny cats that aren't spayed or neutered. <laughs> just peeing all over the place. <laughs> that was like, everyone kind of saw on like, right, it was like, like it was actual, like, the, the cat girl would sneak into your house, steal your wallet, piss on your carpet, raid your fridge, and leave. <laughs> <laughs> but like... Yeah. But yeah, so would you... Recommend Nekopar okay, OVA actually, or or the visual novel. Well, I haven't played the visual novels, but it's been, one... conditionally, I would recommend this as like this is bonkers, and everyone should everyone should know how fucking bonkers if you, this is. If you watch it with friends and like, yeah. it's a great thing to just, just to imagine the world where you're not really paying attention to these weird like cat girls doing stupid stuff, being mentally challenged. Yeah, essentially, it it's kind of it's offensive. It's offensive in every way. <laughs> if you know, if it's your cat, but if you, cat if you watches. actually enjoy like anime that's not similar to this, don't watch the. <laughs> you won't like it. You'll like, hate it. If you like trash, you like this. Yeah, I feel like trash. This like is this. the basic of cat girl, I guess. But like, I don't know. It's not like a really sad. I can't really like, build this off. I don't. I want to build the world like in this show. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to watch a show about the world. I said it's twenty something times, but it's way more interesting. <laughs> All right. Uh... So, would you recommend though? Yes, yes or no? Yay, nay? <laughs> I already said. I know. You said nay. I would, I'd recommend it conditionally. Conditionally. I, I, I same way. So. All right. Uh, sure we so. All we could about that, right? Yeah, it's enough cat girl talk for right now. Oh. Um, so what have you watched or listened to or touched this week that is not cat girl related? Uh, let's see. I've been playing Tales of Azaria. I'm really good. I'm like, pretty sure I'm like halfway through that. Really fun. Um. Playing the Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, uh, like two thirds of the way through that, really good also, just as hard as I remember. Going through Bloodborne still, tight a little bit. Oh yeah, Bloodborne. Um, Corey about Double Man, Cry Baby, uh, which has on another episode. Yeah, we're gonna be releasing probably by the time this episode comes out, there will be the Double Man spoiler cast. All right, and yeah, I watched it like you know, Poppy Epic, which was really great and funny. Um, really enjoying Pop Team Epic. Junji Ito question is something. Some, okay. some of it is. Yeah, so we watched the first two episodes of that. And the first episode is not very good. That guy episode's better. Yes. And I'm trying to remember what else I did. Uh, I saw Star Wars finally. Oh, yeah, we did go see Star Wars. Which is fine. It was the best movie I've ever seen, right? It was fine. I like Star Wars a lot. Actually, well, you know that's not the best. It's not bad. It's not good. But like, it's fine. It's <laughs> I, a movie. I saw it twice, and well, I know it's a very divisive movie because people are shitty fans. And uh, I, I really like the first time. I was like, I kind of like that. And the second time I watched, it, I was like, Yeah, I did. I like that. It was good. There's, there's things I definitely enjoyed. There's stuff I, you know, kind of questionable. But yeah. like I mean, it was fine. There's a lot of stuff in there that's like okay i guess it, I and other stuff i'm happy that they like subverted expectations i wasn't bored like i was a kid watching like episode one and two like i was bored to tears watching episode two really? especially as a kid episode two oh, especially yeah, episode two i liked I episode bored. i was like a five-year-old and I, my mom took me to episode one and i enjoyed it episode two though i was bored as a kid and like <laughs> as a kitten what as a kid because you know 
That was maybe like a, like a romance movie with it with barely any Star Wars in it. Yeah, it was a cool ending. That's a good ending. Ending was fine, but that's what people remember <clears throat> is the whole fucking ending. Yeah. Nothing else in that movie is memorable. I don't know. It's forgot some pretty hilarious acting by Hayden. Every scene where he's talking is hilarious. It was before they spelled family. <laughs> but I'm trying to think of anything else I've played. I don't think so. I remember I watched anything else either, but I don't think I really did. Uh, I think that's it for me. I don't think I got anything coming to me. So go ahead and what have you watched, read, played. So, uh, it's been a while since we've convened and had a proper Nyancast, so yeah. I've seen a lot of movies since then. I'm going to not list them all off because it's going to be really annoying. Mr. Movie Pass. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> um, sorry, it's my Rick impression. Accidental Rick impression. So, I recently got Dark Souls and I played through that and I... I mean, like, I'm a big fan of Bloodborne. If you, uh, true fans of the podcast will know, I, I suck Bloodborne's dick all the time. <laughs> so I recently got uh, Dark Souls and played through it and never played it before, and I really liked it, and I see how it lives up to the hype. The last act is kind of bad. <laughs> I understand, like, uh, Lost is, li- is not very good. Uh, I kind of liked it, though. I have to say, I like that part myself, but the boss at the end sucks. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Uh, Take your word. Playing Cuphead, too. I love Cuphead. It's mm-hmm. very hard, but I fucking best feeling in the world when he beat a boss right now i'm stuck i'm fighting like a like a ship captain guy mm. um he sucks i don't like him <laughs> what else uh i have to say okay so i've seen a lot of movies lately i have to say i'd recommend yep. i Tanya. i saw i Tanya. Yeah, do you want to recommend that was a really good movie i thought it was pretty fucking cool mm-hmm. uh about the Tanya harding thing yes. uh, margot robbie before I didn't like Margot Robbie, but now I'm officially on the Margot Robbie it's train. Like, it's hard to like anybody when the first thing you see him in is Suicide Squad. Well, that wasn't even the first thing I saw her in. I saw her in um, oh shit, what was that exactly. movie? Exactly. It was so there was a really terrible movie about the financial crisis with Christian Bale and, I... and people like loved it because there's normie shit. American Psycho. No, that's a great movie. <laughs> um, no, no, it's it's uh, but there's a part where the narrator of the movie's like. And here's Margot Robbie in a bathtub sipping champagne, could, explaining the financial crisis, the housing crisis. I thought, and I got fucking, I got so mad I turned the movie off because I was like, fuck you. Like, not at what she was talking about. The fact that they were like, and here's a sexy anime, babe. And she's going to sh- sh- drink <laughs> champagne. She's in a movie with like Will Smith, like, because for... Mm. Oh, Suicide Squad. No, before that, but... <laughs> Now, Suicide Squad was the first time I really saw yeah, her. Yeah, that was the first movie I really saw her. In. Like, I would never be on Harley Quinn and like maybe even style her even more. Yes, I'm gonna say I hated her her portrayal of Harley Quinn, a character that I don't really even like that much. I think she's like, oh, like <laughs> her accent was like so inconsistent. Like she would kind of like jump in and out. Oh. But no, but she was really good in this movie. And I was listening I'm to actress, but like you know, yeah, you see that's why you don't have much to go. With. No, exactly. Like yeah, you see, she's awesome. When you're it. giving dialogue, saying this right here is Katana, her killer son. app. <laughs> what would be some sort of Suicide Squad? You know, great lines like that. Yeah. Academy Classic. Award-winning Suicide. I mean, they're squad. memorable lines. Yeah, Ca- Academy Award-winning film Suicide Squad. But like, yeah, it's like when it's like when you're referring to like a person of of honor that you hate. It's like, oh, yes, Mr. President. Like, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta laugh at that. Uh, what else did I see? Oh, Lady Bird. I saw Lady Bird. Mm-hmm. And that nominated for Academy Award. For yeah, it picture. is. It is. I really, I wanted to win too. I loved that movie. It was like, sometimes you see a movie and it like sticks with you. Mm-hmm. Like all I could think about for like the next like week was like, damn, Lady Bird. Like that really, <laughs> it really, it obviously didn't resonate too much with me because I'm a a male, a non-religious male. <laughs> Jerry and I have a pretty good relationship with my mother. <laughs> the main character is like in Catholic school, and she's a girl, and she has a terrible relationship. <laughs> I can with relate. Mother, which, so, but I, honestly, it still resonated, even though I didn't like. I wasn't. I couldn't relate to the main character in like those specific ways. I related to her in other ways. But mm-hmm. and then I, what else have I seen? Uh, Shape of Water. And every... Shape of Water was good. I liked it. It. I have such a high standard for Del Toro, though. It's, yeah. it's not fair. Mm-hmm. I that surprisingly did. This episode after the nom- Academy Award nominations have come out, obviously. The Shape of Water has the most nominations of any movie this year. It's 10. Definitely good for visual, like, prat- like visual for practical effects. I, I always like Del Toro's, like, practical Yeah, his, I think he's up for directing, and 
maybe editing i might be lying i know that the main lead the main actresses which she should win and then the, the supporting actress is octavia spencer is he the fish guy no she octavia spencer oh. is uh, that's not like a guy's name no she's a mm. she's a she's a black actress and she plays like the main character's like kind of best friend okay. co-worker and she is amazing she carries because <laughs> like the main character's mute in mm-hmm. shape of water and she like does such a good job of like being this character that's like Oh, because she has a friend who doesn't talk, so she's constantly. She's like one of those people that's like constantly talking. So is he I don't tra- know. She knows like translator too, or well, she she can read sign language. Uh, yeah, like a tr- interpreter. Yeah, kind of. Um, but no one really cares about the main character because she's a mute in the fifties and she's a woman, so no one cares about. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> plays like the, Sally Hawkins. <laughs> plays Kirby through the Adam song. <laughs> yeah, Shape of Water was really good. I, I'm a little hard on it. It was really good though. Mm-hmm. And I think that's really it of movies I saw. I saw The Post, and that wasn't very good. Mm. Don't go see The Post. All right. It's well, funny. Then... I was listening to the Mega, Mega 64 podcast, and Rocco was talking about it, and he, like, loved it. <laughs> I was like... I hear something, something that I forgot that... that you watched with me, though? Red, uh, Red Line, I think it was. <gasps> oh, shit, we did watch Red Line. That's really awesome. Red Line's a fantastic film. If, yeah. you, if you're into anime, and you've seen all the hot anime movies, and you haven't seen Red Line, you haven't seen the best oh, one yet. Really fucking <laughs> awesome. I loved it. It was like. I'm sure Mad Max and Space Dandy had a baby, and there you go. It, like, it's with, Redline. With an initial D. Like, yeah. A little, bit, a little, little dip of D. But, like, Redline for me, it's like, I don't believe it exists, because, like, it has, like, like imagine, like, a really cool picture that it's, someone spent, like, 100 hours drawing. It seems it's like, like that for every frame. It reminded me of, like, a five, like, like, a, like, a one minute, like, animated short mm-hmm. of, like, a race, and that was it, but then they made a movie out of yeah. it. Yeah. This is fucking crazy. I just learned this, actually. Like, technically, Redline's a sequel. Is it? There is an OVA with, like, some of the other characters in it. Not, not Sweet JP, but, like, some of the other alien dudes uh, that came out in, like, the late, or no, early 2000s, and it's, like, not very good. I'm not, not surprised. But it, it's directed by the same studio and the same guy, so it's got, like, the same similar style, but it's not, like, as beautiful. Yeah. Because Redline is fucking gorgeous. Yeah, that's, yeah so that was it. <laughs> Continue. Yeah. Continue. All right, I think I've talked too much. I haven't really played anything Continue. else. I didn't really do that. I didn't, like, honestly didn't do that much. Yeah. I have to say, Lady Bird, great film. Yeah. Well, really, really high mark for me. Well, you need to start on Don the Ropa, so I can talk to you I, about that. I have that. started. <laughs> I, I, want you to, I want to talk to you about that, and you start started at FMA. Brother oh, Trump. I did. I did start from Middle Lockman. Okay, also, the one thing I really wanted to talk about, uh, I, I've been watching Princess Principal. Mm-hmm. That shit is fire. That shit's hot mm-hmm. fire. I love that show. Any if, if, if you like Princess Principal, press 1 in the comments. Um. Uh, yeah, it's great. It's a really cool show, and it has great music, and I love it. Hmm. I just, I've, I've been like pacing myself, like watching one episode at a time because I love it so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. All right, hey, and that's it. That's it. All right, then I guess that's it. Um, should we talk this where they can find us then? Or no. We... Oh, great. Root beer talk. <laughs> Not even root beer talk. It's called beverage talker. Bevo talk. I love that you like waited, like, because you're like expecting. I'm, it. I'm, <laughs> I was like, no, we're gonna let this awkward you just, moment you go. You just want me to try to skip it, so you can interrupt me and say that. <laughs> so I've been drinking, yes, some beers for tonight. Congratulations. I'm I'm a little tips. I'm, uh-huh. I'm like a half tip. Well, you had to be for what we watched. <laughs> it helped. It helped. <laughs> you don't have to be crazy to work here, but it helps. Uh, so I I'm drinking currently an Old Man Winter. It's a it's a winter ale. It's Southern Tier Brewing Company. I was just on my fridge to grab it. Yeah. I have been drinking um, Brawler mm-hmm. by, uh, oh, shit, is it Victory? Oh, no. I don't know, man. Brawler is a, no, it's Yards. Mm-hmm. Yards Brewery, Philly Brewery, makes a really cold beer called Brawler that I mm-hmm. love. I've been drinking it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I also had a cider, and you had a cider as well. Cidre. A cidre. Stella. A Stella it's like a cider. cider. We don't, not much. It's like 4.5%, but it's still like it's still really good, though. It's delicious. By the best taste. It was funny, though. I recently started listening to a podcast, and like in the beginning, they always they like, have a beer like a, like a beer of the week, and they always read it. And I thought like really funny. <laughs> it's like Rupert <we're> Talk. <laughs> yeah, well, they read it, and that's always before, where like this is just like a gimmick that like um, <laughs> I got tired of a year like, before <laughs> that. You didn't even get tired. You hated it like no, dead what? on arrival. <laughs> kind of. But yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. But I haven't drank anything new or special. No, yeah, I've just been drinking tea there. I just drink ice cream tea, iced tea, like, all 24-7. Yeah. Oh, that's, like, 90% of what I drink. 
and then snap what work because that's cheap at drinking five mm-hmm. i had off today so i was drinking a lot of tea mm. i love drinking tea yeah tea's pretty good I like, like hot tea I like a good coffee but i would just hate the after effects of coffee yeah but coffee's so damn good coffee's very good i have this uh peppermint mm-hmm. like a peppermint bark coffee or something yeah really like it well i had some kind of kenyan coffee that, that like kind of sounds interesting mm-hmm. to try but we'll see mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. neat all right you can just throw that bottle out now. <laughs> so, Jim, where can they find us? <laughs> so, yeah, we are the Neon Cast. I'm yes. sure you can look down at our channel name and or the video title. We see, we see those in blend S meme videos. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, yeah, we're the Neon Cast. Mm-hmm. Look us up. Mm-hmm. Uh, two words, the Neon Cast. Yes. Uh, we're also on iTunes. Yes. Our, our neglected, much neglected iTunes. Yes. It's harder to get the reach on itunes than it is youtube <laughs> well you need that you get thousand subscribers and like but it's never <laughs> <laughs> probably won't happen oh no well eventually uh we'll get there <laughs> um we just gotta farm that jojo shit out well, speaking yeah. of which we also do a jojo podcast Jokaka, which we currently uh doing part eight but it's kind of on haze because the manga is on hiatus right now and we do spoiler cast from well at least part five to part seven and well, once I, well, it's more on me for part one because I, mm. I, I, I read the first book because I got the first mo- like, collection of it on manga. I have to finish reading part two as well. I, I, I finished, finished reading it. part two already. I read all yeah. that all, like forever ago. So like we're yeah. both kind of on even like what we need to read. But spoiler class of the part one and two at least in the near future. I would like for us to have read and watched them before I, we did. Well, you we, know what I mean? Already, I already watched all that. Yeah, yeah, obviously. But like, um, yeah, so that's coming. We also do a seasonal blend, which is us reviewing seasonal anime. Um, I think what was our most recent one? I think we did a Junie Tenson. Um, technically, our most recent one, I guess, if I label it properly, will be our Devilman one. Uh, yeah, that's more of a spoiler cast. But it's a mix between spoiler cast and, and yeah, the, and, it's and still going to be a numbered Neon cast episode. Yeah, so there's that, and there's also uh, Junie Tenson, which is like, which is oh boy, but yeah, uh, really, really interesting listen, shitty listen, show. Listen to that, but that's basically <clears throat> the, our our main our main stuff. Yeah, but um, all right. I guess that's it. Yeah, that's really all I got. Hopefully, you can edit in that bug, the bug oh bomber. Oh my god, that was a jet fighter. But you'll, you'll, you'll maybe you'll hear that. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll have to listen back to it. Oh, Sam I wonder had if you can a. Hear. I wonder if it flew by the mic at all when you're uh, accidentally recording. It, it might pick it up. They're like pretty a fucking, fucking loud. Fucking dive bomber. <laughs> yeah. Know, and all the ones I've seen in my room stink. That's the, I've never seen a stink bug fly like that. I have I have a stink bug problem in my room where like every week I'll have one appear and one was like right next to Sam's ear and he was like freaked out. You freaked out too when that one like flew oh, by yeah. you. So. Well, because I'm afraid because like. They, you get shot they the hit, yeah, they hit my fan and then they vanish because like they fall on my carpet and they blend right in. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Well, thank you for listening. Thank you. This has been Jim. And I'm Sam. And.